Budget 2016 has a number of measures that are geared towards small and medium enterprises, which are recognised as being probably one of the major engines for economic growth and employment creation. Some of the positive developments in that space were um, targeted incentives towards certain sectors such as films, uh, transportation and agriculture. Um, and certainly from a fundraising perspective, there's a welcome proposal to increase the amounts that companies can raise under the EII scheme. Somewhat disappointingly, I think there had been a lot of lobbying in advance of the budget around trying to provide incentives for entrepreneurs who will sell their businesses. And there is a, a, a limited relief has been introduced which will allow a reduced rate of capital gains tax of 20% on gains up to a million euro and it's disappointing because it doesn't go as far I think as people would have liked and that one million is gains that will be made over a lifetime which is a considerable period of time particularly if we're trying to encourage entrepreneurs to go again and again. One of the features of the budget was that the Minister said he would address so-called discrimination between self-employed taxpayers and PAYE taxpayers. However, one of the big areas of discrimination remains, which is that for self-employed taxpayers, the impact of USC means that they're still paying, in certain cases, marginal rates of income tax of 55%. So overall, nothing in the budget came as a great surprise. Um, I think it was inevitable that there would be a degree of giving back, if you like, after seven or eight years of very difficult tax increases for people. So the fact that that's now returning is no great surprise. There are, as I say, some encouraging measures around investment in certain sectors and some disappointments in the business space, particularly around uh, you know, a really meaningful uh, relief for entrepreneurs on the sale of their businesses.